Even the jungle wanted him dead. And that's who he really took his orders from anyway. Sorry, my intros are a pack of lies. Um, I'm in Costa Rica, which is rather lovely. Um, today's subject is photographing women. Uh, Tom, I love you. Thank you for following me on Instagram, which you're welcome to do down here. You wanted me to do a studio session. Um, I'm in Costa Rica. Um, I'm in a very nice part of town, but, ugh, excuse me, um, I'm not gonna be able to do a studio session for you, but I'll do one when I get back to New York, but it got me thinking. Yes, it did. Um, Today's topic is photographing women. How to do it better, how to, and no, it's just not, not a question of how to do it better, but these are like 10 principles to bear in mind when you're photographing any women. Your mum, your sister, your mistress, your auntie, a model, a professional model, an Instagram model, the worst of all of the peoples. Um, I made a list of 10 things you should think about. I know, I know, I'm getting better at YouTube. I've got a microphone. There's some semblance of professionalism for me on this channel. What a delight. Um, the plan for this, at least in my head, is film a funny intro, which should have happened. <laughs> and then it's to overlay this with shots I took of my girlfriend. Beep, 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 uh, for people that follow that show. Okay, photographing women, 10 tips, straight off the hip, off, straight at you. Number one, find a woman. This is challenging in business and in life. Um, but when you find her, treasure her and love her forever. No, um, finding women is easy to photograph if you live in New York because it's the home of literally everyone um, and many, many, many vain people that want their photograph taken for Instagram, for maternity leads, for weddings, engagements, bar mitzvahs, whatever it is. New York has it and so does your town. Uh, if you have a sister, take photos of her. If you have a mother, which hopefully you might or still be have a good relationship with her if they're even still around sorry if that was triggering for people um there are plenty of women everywhere um you can photograph them um here's one key tip uh, don't ever f any of the women that you photograph ever don't even come on to them like in any shape way or form it is the most despicable thing and i'm getting serious and pissed off here now because i see it and it disgusts me stop it is the very opposite of being a professional if you are engaging with women in any professional capacity or in, in your personal life, if we're really being honest with you, don't be a slime ball. If you've got into photography to get closer to attractive women, you're a, you're a scumbag. A scumbag. Get out. Throw your camera in the trash and throw yourself in the trash. You're trash. We'll move on. Um, anyway. Otherwise, you can go into a DM, you can reach out to people, do so cordially, do so professionally. Remember, your reputation matters. Um, you will destroy your reputation and be very careful of the male gaze. There are so many minefields uh, for photographers now and it's not because the world's gone PC mad, it's because stopping a f***ing creep. I mean it. Point number, I've forgotten what point number two is. What's point number two? Falling <laughs> Okay, so point number two is going to sound contradictory to point number one, but it shouldn't be if you have half a brain cell. Point number two, Tip number two, fall in love with the women that you shoot. Not in a sexual way, but fall in love with them, right? Really make that, uh, I stole this advice, by the way, from Peter Lindbergh, who's a slightly better photographer than me. And he has this beautiful quote where he says, um, every single day I fall in love with the women that I shoot and then I go home to my wife. That's the energy you want. Big, bring big bear, I hope in the time between now and that it's published, he doesn't get cancelled. I mean, he's dead, um, but that doesn't stop you getting cancelled for being a douche. Um, he's a big bear of a man, and women, models, and everyone else like that loves working with him because he makes everyone feel so safe and so respected. And he's very... He pays a deep, deep, deep level of attention to people and falls in love with women. And that's perfectly acceptable because you need to do that for your art. Don't do that for your knob. Um, or if you're a woman, don't be a creep as well. Three, location, pick a good one. Um, not really sure where I was going with that. Actually, maybe this is me gonna put some B-roll of driving to this glorious beach. So we did a beach shoot and we did a shoot 
up in the morning. Uh, my girlfriend's a fashion designer. She's extraordinarily talented. I wanted to capture her, uh, both for my own personal love for her, but also to help sort of articulate the strong and independent, incredible woman that she is. Um, I posted the finished photos to Instagram and I will post the finished image today. Isn't that exciting? Yay! Tip four, feed her. Nobody likes to be hungry. Um, I fed my girlfriend seafood from the Caribbean. Um, if you can feed your models, uh, they will appreciate it. Again, don't come in with a pork pie. Uh, we want to be coming in with some appropriate snacks. Nobody wants to feel bloated, but people don't want to have energy. Bring Haribo to your shoots. You'll make a lot of friends very fast. Uh, number five, study the poses that she likes and study poses in general. Studying poses is probably one of the best places that you can spend your time as a photographer, uh, learning how to work and articulate people's bodies and what works for them, what light is good, what movement is good, what positions are good. This is a lifelong study, um, but study, study. Um, you can get a little insight because every single person knows their good side and their bad side, not that those things exist, um, but absolutely. Uh, this is your customer, so be professional and put your work in, and uh, be professional, drink beers, smoke cigars, lad. Um, okay, point number six, uh, pick your light, lights everything, photography, the study of light, early mornings, dusk, golden hours, uh, if you can't find it, diffuse it, if you're in a studio setting, be good at studio lighting, studying lighting is your job, this is the job of a photographer to study light, study it, uh, study it all the time. Um, that's an easy point six. Number seven, build confidence and not discomfort. Oh my God, this could not be more evident in people. You can see discomfort, people that are uncomfortable in front of cameras. Models are uncomfortable in front of cameras. It's so obvious and it's you, it's your fault, you. It's your fault as a photographer if you're making your subject feel uncomfortable. There is no excuse for it, none at all. Develop a personality, develop interests, learn how to talk to people. Learn how to make people comfortable. Treat people respectfully. It means so much if you can put a model at ease because it's horrible. If you've never tried being on the other side of the camera, it is a miserable experience. And believe me, it is. I hate having my photo taken unless it's a great photographer because they make me feel sexy when I have to take off my underwear. <laughs> so, number eight, no smiles. I have a policy of no smiles. I break it all the time. Um, a smile tends to be the guard that someone puts up. Uh, so if they're trying to do like mm, Instagram, I hate Instagram so much, but I also use it all the time. Um, we all have that relationship. Maybe that's another video. Make sure that they're not, every photo isn't just because mm, it's, it's, it's hideous. It, it's, it's a really awful thing. It, it puts all the guards up. Get to know that person. The eyes are the window to the soul, my friend, the eyes. Tell them to stop smiling, but don't, don't make it unenjoyable. Number nine, racing through these, such professionalism. Outfits, discuss outfits, learn outfits, learn color theory. Joanna Kustra, shout out to Poland. She has made one of the best videos on YouTube, let alone on color theory. It is an incredible masterclass. I'll put a link to it in the comments uh, or the little text box that lives in the middle of it. Watch that video. It's an hour and a class. Literally, it is a masterclass. It is a three-year degree in one video. It is mwah, it's the highest actualization of YouTube. Joanna, you're a legend. A legend. Uh, she also takes beautiful photography. Follow her on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Why not? I take way worse photos than she does. Um, I wanted to add a point on posing. Um, at the start of every photo shoot, you should at least have at least 45 minutes, if not an hour, if not longer. Um, either way, the, the, the conversation has to happen. What poses, what outfits, how are you gonna make those changes, when are you gonna make those changes, what poses are people comfortable for? There's nothing more dis disconcerting than a photographer asking, to do a, asking a model to do a pose that they're uncomfortable with, okay? So just bin that behavior straight away, get your approval on everything and be conservative and ask people what, what's behind this photo, what are they for? Make sure it's appropriate. I really mean that. Again, if you're a, if you're a scumbag, honestly, I nearly said something extraordinarily harsh, but just educate yourself. I mean this so much. I see it all the time and it enrages me. Uh, final point, don't show you're working. <gasps> so um, a photography session, a studio session, we'll cover studio sessions when I do them later. It is intimate. It's not intimate in a sexy way. It's intimate in a trust way. It's you, the model, and a camera. It's basically three hours of compliments. It is about building a level of trust quickly but getting a model to a place where she's comfortable in revealing something in her essence. 
And you can only do that through a dialogue. And that's what every single photo shoot is. It's a dialogue. And if you're stopping every fucking 10 seconds and going, oh, do you like this one? Or do you like that? Or can I see this? If she asks to see anything, say no. Just say, look, fantastic. I want to keep going. All right? The light's fantastic. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Use let's keep going a lot because it will buoy people's confidence. And this is a confidence game. You want to make sure that when your model leaves your shoot, they feel like Heidi Klum. And this is assuming that Heidi Klum is in a good place mentally. Forget the image, your, your images will, will vary. I mean, even a good ratio for a good photographer is about 10% of the photos are good. A fantastic photographer can etch it up to about 11%. You really wanna make sure that how they feel at the end of the shoot, that's how people will remember you. The images and everything else like that will speak for themselves and, and there's a ton of tutorials that you should, would and could uh, get better at your camera, but the feeling and your personality and who you shine through, the difference between me, uh, five years ago and now is I have worked on a lot of my personality to be less vile <laughs> um, I'm still vile but let, I'm, I'm, let's, let's just get to the point here your photography can only get to a certain level on a technical basis if you're working with people if you're not working on your people skills you are literally gonna stay at a level for your whole life if you really want to up your game and, and, and start seeing the difference in good and great it's all in the way that the photographer is able to communicate with their subjects. That to me is, is literally everything. It, it's what I spent most of my time working on now. It's just started to rain in paradise. It's difficult to be upset though. I love you. If you enjoyed this content, um, there's a red button with the word on it, um, which you should click. And you should feel so empowered clicking that. So beautiful clicking that. <laughs> um, don't be a creep. That's the message of this video. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a slightly different format. Take care. Be kind, be good, keep snapping, cliche, catchphrase, buenos noches. <laughs>